was I went to, first work-wise, I went to Ottawa, and uh, they have this association, with, they had all these different sports governing bodies were there. And long story short, the baseball and hockey and basketball guys wouldn't, there were no jobs there. So I ended up, the one that got the most excited was Bridge Canada. Bridge the card game. I don't know how to play, but sell. But the first thing I ever did was sell tickets for a bridge trip. And here's one thing you learn. The people didn't sell any, by the way, I sold two. But the people in bridge are passionate about bridge. People are passionate about what they do. So be curious. So it's important to be curious in that process. If uh, So anyways, did bridge, did some cycling events, short track cycling. This was still why I was working with this other company. Team moved from, I did cycling, I did bridge, I did inline skating, I did five pin bowling. This is all part time, didn't make any money. So then, hockey team moved from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia to Hamilton. I applied to be the marketing director. There were 300 applications, I got hired. So I'm really surprised. And I remember after like a month, which again I don't recommend, went to my boss and like, you know, I have to ask you, like, why did you hire something? He said, well, we didn't meet anybody that could sell bridge and bowling, and if you can do bridge and bowling and cycling, you could probably do hockey. So I hired director of marketing, did that for a few years. Uh, in the end, every time there was an opportunity, I put my hand up, so some people left, and I ended up being the president of the Hamilton Bulldogs at 30 years old, so I was the youngest person who was a president of a hockey team in North America at the time. I was the first employee of the Bulldogs, I was there in the first six years, so I'm always happy that Team's changed a few times, but it's still here. Um, so, a couple lessons, I think. Not a lot of time here, so I'll give you a couple of key lessons there. So one, the most important skill, single most important skill for your career um, is sales. Okay, and, and you're all in it, by the way. So those people say, I don't want to work in sales, too bad, tough. Marketing is sales, promotions is sales. If you want to be an accountant, how do you get hired? Sell yourself. Sales or communication or convincing. What do you think coaches do? How do coaches get players to play well? Sales. How do coaches recruit? Sales. They can call it recruiting because they don't like the term sales. People are afraid of the word. Coaches are good sales. Good coaches are good salespeople. Mike Babcock gets an Azo Academy to play really well it means he's a good salesperson. They use a different word, but that's what it is. The number one skill in your career sales and if you're afraid of it and you use the word I don't want to sell good luck getting a job because the person that's interviewing you knows that every single person in their organization including them is a salesperson every person that works for Graham Brown and Matt Afton and Mike Brunwald is in sales it may take you until you're 40 years old to understand that but if you say I don't want to be in sales different career path so by the way was anybody here that wasn't a baby Anybody go through that? Anybody go from like zero to and all of a sudden you're 16 years old? Okay, babies are the best salespeople in the world. Can't speak. They're born, they're hungry, they can't speak. What do they do? Cry. Cry. So let's say they're not hungry, but they're tired. So they're tired, they're crying, you give them food. What do they do? Still cry. You guys all did it, by the way. You to break it to you. All did it, started selling when you were born selling your whole life. When you want to convince your parents or friends or family that you want to stay up until 2 o'clock in the morning, you're not sending a press release. <coughs> Dad, come on, that's sales. When you're convincing your friend that one team is better than another, that you should go to a club or a bar, that you should go to a movie, it's all sales. Be really careful if you think in your mind today that you don't want to be in sales. Be really, really careful of understanding what that is. Okay. Marketing is a form of sales. The only objective of marketing, the only one is sales. If a company markets, Toys R Us and Sears just went out of business because they didn't sell enough. Retail industry is challenged. Newspaper industry is dying. If they sell more, they're fine. If you can't be part of that process, you're not going to be successful. For a company, you're having 